Hello, welcome back. I think this might be my 100th video. So, I didn't really plan this, this kind of stumbled upon me. Um, I'm not going to do like a whole shout out kind of thing. Probably after this video, I'm going to probably do a Q&A thingy for after this one. Um, but here, my 100th video, and probably one of the most quotable movies of all time. It's a Terry Gilliam film, Johnny Depp's in it, Bernicio Del Toro's in it, and he gained like 50 pounds for the role. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. The first time I saw this film, I was six, and uh, that might have caused some ne negative ill effects upon my psyche, but hey, what the fuck are you gonna do? My sister made me watch Hellraiser and other fucking horror movies too as well, but this is different. It has comedic moments now, uh, it has comedic moments into it, it's very much, uh, a memoir upon the 60s and the the wave of uh, what people thought they were going to do and what they did do and what they thought they shall inevitably do but that kinda you know the 60s is like wow man we didn't do fuck all we didn't change anything it's just all a big fucking lie but when I talk about it Fear and Loathing is probably one of the f funniest disturbing and yet <laughs> greatest movies I've ever seen Oh, I love this movie. Um, I, I seen the, this is like my one of my sister's favorite films. Next for like uh, the Big Lebowski. Uh, she also has uh, where the Buffalo Roam, where where Bill Murray plays. Uh, um, the character of uh, oh fuck, his name excuse me, shit. But we know it's Duke and Gonzo. He plays Duke and. Uh, Duke Rayo and Dr. Gonzo, right? And this is just like, wow, these people are, have fucking drugs and it's about journalism and him and his lawyer. <laughs> just, ah, oh, so moments. Tobey Maguire's in here like four years before he did Spider-Man, so it's so funny. Uh, same as like a blonde and he looks like really creepy looking. What the fuck? Goddamn backcountry. Sorry, kids outside screaming. But, my god, this movie has like some of the best quotes in it. Has an inner monologue thing. Chris my Maloney from, uh... Sp Kids Are Screaming. Special Victims Unit's in here. He plays the the gay, uh... Hotel clerk, which he has this great little scene. Uh, so many great scenes in this film. Uh, Reptile Zoo. Mm. This film should have been on my top tens. So I gotta redo that. Fuck. But that's definitely up on here. Um, like, probably bump Highlander off. I just love this film. It is so funny. It is so eccentric. It's by Terry Gilliam, the guy from uh, Monty Python, so it does have a 70s feel, feel to it. The film takes place in 1971. And, uh, yeah. I really can't... Really, really hard, really... There's a lot of time lapses in here. There's moments, there's a part of the scene that he falls asleep and he wakes up, it's like fucking five days later. <laughs> he has no idea what happened, him strung out on cocaine and other methamphetamines and just other type of unnameable and incredibly bodily damaging drugs. It's amazing the man lived up to 67. Fucking, it's crazy. Oh, he did kill himself. Anyway, um, this film's fantastic. I say check it out. Uh, I know it bombed at the box office, got a lot of bad rap, but it really followed the past like 10 years, or even before it reached the five year mark, it received a great cult following. It's based on the book with the uh, art drawings that we were so seen that they made a parody of on The Simpsons. So, sorry, I mean a sandwich. Um,. This, this is a great film. I say check it out if you have if 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 you need to see a film, you need to see this film. It is great. Um, yeah.